Hey guys, welcome to this episode of the official podcast. Thanks for joining us. We're your hosts, Jackson, Andrew, Charlie, Kaya. How's everyone going? Going pretty well. Going uh, north. Hopefully we don't lose Alex's audio this time around. That'd be a shame. Alex, can you Alex, give us can a, you give mic, us a mic test? Yeah. How have you incompetent fucks lost my audio for so <laughs> many episodes in a row? Uh, Look, we usually do not read the comments and 25 episodes and someone said, hey, we should read them. And then we realized, oh, Alex is you fucked up. It's a moot point anyway, because we'll probably lose your audio for this one as well. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we did just flat out forget to invite you to the Twitch streams. I mean... I wanted to let you know, but <sighs> yeah, I don't, there was that one time you kind of were mean to me, so I passive aggressively edited you out of our Patreon. I see page. how it is. You want <laughs> you want your Jacksepticeyes, your PewDiePies, to sort of overtake me uh, as the host with the most. Oh no! Well, no, you a nobody. Y- you right. started this. Uh, we they could never overtake you. It's just well, a matter yeah, of getting the mic problems. This? Yeah, of course we started out. this. <laughs> yeah, I was I here. Still, Alex, I still remember the day, the, to the day, when you woke me up with an urgent phone call at 3.30 in the morning and said, Andrew, we got to make a podcast. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. you know, I think I you're right. The name. And it, it and brought tears to my eyes. suggestions. Yeah. But you said, no, 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 we're calling it the official podcast. Exactly. <laughs> I think I think as soon as you said that, all four of us stood up and clapped for five I minutes. It was yeah, like I actually got an erection. I had to sit back down to hide it. <laughs> it was like the whole Zuckerberg story. We were just the official Minecraft podcast, but you, as the visionary, said no. Drop the Minecraft. Yeah. Exactly. It was boring. Yeah. Incredible. I'm, I'm very glad. <laughs> yeah. It all it all worked out nicely. <laughs> <laughs> uh Splendid. So, so how are you, balls all? B- boys, not balls. <laughs> <laughs> Same There's thing, really. Slip. Yeah, you guys are like my balls. You're closer to me than my balls, even. Aww. <laughs> oh, <sweet. laughs> that's cute. Do we radiate yeah. body heat? That was like a ho- no, you retract. You come to me when it's cold. <laughs> that was like a Hallmark card. Mm. <laughs> you remind me of funny. my testicles, always by my side. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dad. You're closer to me than my balls. <laughs> Uh-huh. You could you could imagine Hallmark would actually do that, and the picture would be like an old man holding golf balls or some stupid shit. I could see it. It's probably already out there. But guys, before we continue on with this discussion, I have to let everyone at home know about our generous sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club is the smarter choice when it comes to shaving. You can get a great shave for a great price, conveniently delivered right to your door. You no longer have to schlep your way to the store to buy a cheap disposable razor or buy a really gimmicky one that you don't even need. And for a limited time, everyone, new members get their first month and an executive razor with a tube of Dr. Carver shave butter for only $5 with free shipping. And after that, the razors are only a few dollars a month. That is a $15 value for only $5. And in your first box, you'll get an awesome weighty handle, a full cassette of four cartridges, and a tube of their amazing shave butter. And after your first month, replacement cartridges ship automatically at a regular price. That's right, no hidden fees, no commitments, cancel anytime you like. You can get this offer at dollarshaveclub.com slash official. That's dollarshaveclub.com dot com slash official check the link in the description did you yeah. know that the uh those give those greeting cards are a multi-billion dollar business i didn't know people still got yeah. them yeah oh they yeah they have to dude. buy them like every holiday either. event so yeah i can imagine people that. love that that's shit. true you guys ever notice how many goddamn holidays and special days there are not even mentioning all the goddamn birthdays people have the this time around the year capitalism baby i hate it so much if anything someone has a birthday every day that is yeah true. I hate it so much. That's at least like 30 birthdays. When's your birthday, Alex? It's uh, March 15th. And uh, social? Um, it's uh, what year? <laughs> First childhood pet. My, my childhood pet, pet my best child, I had stick insects. Um, they're exciting. You had really? stick insects? Really? Wait, That's are you telling awesome. me you never had stick insects? No. When you were young? No. I, I did not. What the fuck? I had no. sticks. I'm afraid not. We also didn't have dung beetles. <laughs> No, well, dung beetles is weird. American stick insects thing. is normal. Did everyone in your street have stick insects? <laughs> I've never heard of that. No, and they do that thing. You tap on, you tap on their little enclosure, and they do the little jig. You know, I'm not bullshitting <laughs> you. Fill me out. I've never heard this. You've never heard this. You mean they look like a stick? They look like a stick. You, you know what a stick <laughs> insect looks like, right? It's like a stick with legs. I do. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, that sounds riveting, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the most exciting <laughs> pet. I, I didn't think there could be something more boring than looking at <laughs> fish, but you reminded me. <laughs> no, fish, fish can't dance. Stick insects can dance. It's not just a bug, it's a bug that looks like a stick, it's a bug that looks like less. <laughs> Maybe fish can dance, but they just are always dancing really poorly. <laughs> Here's the thing about stick insects, though. They love to fuck. <laughs> Oh, that makes them better. So you get, you get. How'd you, you like find this out? You get two half sticks a dozen together, stick insects. Firewood. <laughs> so every time they give birth, they cause an inferno. <laughs> oh, so man. yeah, you just have them. Half everywhere. a dozen of if, them. If you get a few, yeah, like stick insect orgies, like Mikado. What is wrong with you? <laughs> it's uncontrollable. <laughs> the they lust. do what they want. Can... <laughs> they look slightly phallic, so Alex got a hard on for. You it. can buy them off eBay. Yeah, you can. How much really do they cost? Them off yep. How much do they? They're cost? really cheap. They're like one pound a stick insect, which is what. Well, like... yeah, you get one pound of stick insects, but how much per pound? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> 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 okay, like zero point eight dollars or something per one. God, I'd really? be insulted Call if me. someone was selling me for that price. I'd just be genuinely yeah. upset. So what, what would you sell for? Jeez, on imagine eBay, if then? we had to switch to a currency of. St- Stick insects instead of bitcoins. <laughs> oh, it just reminds like me. I need to invest. Yeah, I need to invest in Ethereum. Whoa, these things are badass! Holy fuck! Wait. Jackson, put this photo on the screen. I'm gonna post this link to an eBay selling some uh, Specter stick insect eggs. And look, oh these my things Lord. turn into look fucking enemies stick. from Halo. They look awesome. <laughs> Whoa. Look at these fucking things. <laughs> they look like sea dragons. Oh, They're like those a lost things. Pokemon. They're badass. Oh. Those are super interesting to oh. look at, Kaya. God those damn. Yeah, those, yeah are, no, those are cool. No, when Alex said stick and say, I, I thought he meant those that actually literally look like tiny sticks. Not these fucking monsters here that look like... <laughs> well, no, this, they look like dragons. Prey or mantises. Yeah. No, this is the really? premium stick insect, though. He probably was talking about the low-budget yeah, ones. This, yeah. Oh, yeah, this like, is 10 yeah, This is the high-end luxury stick insect for presidents and CEOs. <laughs> Donald yeah. Trump has only the premium stick insects. They fly around his room and they shit coffee beans. <laughs> Can they fly? Oh, man. They don't fly, this do thing looks like creepy as hell, though. This thing looks like a battleship or like a battle tank from a sci-fi movie. Yeah, for real. I think they look awesome. Yeah, it looks like an extra for like Godzilla. A, w- a walking like or cannon. Pacific Rim 2. <laughs> the newest form of Metal Gear. Cool. <laughs> Master Chief. Everything's cool. Well, all right, you somewhat redeemed yourself, Alex. It's, I guess, I could make her a nice pet. Well, not not as much as a pet as <laughs> decoration. <laughs> the shit. I fucking hate stick and sex. <laughs> well, there goes all that. What was his name? I figure. Yeah, what was his name? Sticky. Stick. Stickerton. They do nothing. They're Stick. the worst pet. Yeah. What was your childhood pet's name? Come on, um, tell us. I had a goldfish called Loldy. Loldy. Um, it was what the goldfish? We're talking about the stick and we're st- talking about yeah, the stick. Yeah, what's the name of the stick insects? insects? I don't fucking know. The uh, stick one, you stick two, his name? Reset his stick two point five. Did you tattoo him and give him fucking dog tags too? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Have you seen this leaf looking bastard? Yeah. Before getting any real pets, I just went through all the sort of boring ones, you know. Stick like insects. Dogs, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Fish. Real pets. It's pretty oppressive. What's worse than a stick insect or a fish? Hermit crabs. Two stick insects, because then they start fucking. That's what happened. They, they, they have oh. a billion babies. <laughs> and it's just like, I can't deal with this anymore. You just let, are you sure that they had a bunch of... Them. Are you sure they had a bunch of babies and you didn't just fill the cage with more sticks without <laughs> realizing it? No, because if when you want to test, you just tap on their little enclosure and then they start to jig. I explained this to you already. Ugh. I'm serious. They dance. My apologies. I forgot my learning about stick and sex. I'm not fucking with you. Stick and sex dance. The comment section will back me up on this. Hopefully. I hope all the comments just say, you know, it's bullshit. They don't, but I'm just going to support Alex. <laughs> I'm fucking serious. <laughs> it's just good they fixed his audio. Exactly. <laughs> on, the, on the episode that really mattered about the stick and sex. <laughs> This was this was all you wanted to get out there. I really wanted to, after this discussion. We had that amazing conversation with PewDiePie that you cut out. Um, God, it was amazing. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. I didn't cut it out. It just didn't get through yeah. for some reason. Who knows? I'm so upset. But wait, that, Felix, but... your audio is working now, right? All right, good. Yeah, we got that brilliant joke about the creepy crawlies, huh? Okay. What's that? 
You want me to do what to your asshole? Maybe later. <laughs> yeah, maybe later, Jacksepticeye. Okay, Alex, <laughs> what have you been up to in the past week since we haven't talked? What have I been up to? <laughs> um... Yeah, since yeah. last podcast, where you told us your whole life story. Oh, yeah. God, that was a brilliant one, wasn't it? I was really, really? detailed. Yeah, you came out. Yep. <laughs> I came out, then I went back in, then I came out again. <laughs> <laughs> it was a roller coaster. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I, I, I saw a movie I didn't like what last movie? week. It was called... Um, this little indie film called... Um, Alien Covenant, you might have heard of it. No. Oh, oh, I saw that as yeah. well. <coughs> yeah. Is it Did that you like bad? the part where it sucked? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I'm I'm a fan of Ridley Scott's like visuals and all of that, the gore and everything. And I also really like Michael Fassbender, but it's inexcusable how dumb his characters are. Yeah. You hit the fucking Fassbender nail on the head. Fucking cute. I mean, you watch Prometheus and it's one of the most gorgeous and well thought out worlds in movies. And yet the whole movie is fucking stupid and dumb and his characters are always idiots. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't understand. The, the most the most basic of human intellect would govern if you go on another world, you wear some type of space suit or something yeah, just to play it safe. Really yeah. me. But all they did was dress like they were on spring break. <laughs> Wouldn't be visually sound. You want to show their beautiful faces. That was so dumb. That's true, I bought actually. Michael Fassbender. I'm going to show Michael Fassbender, goddammit. <laughs> he, he's the only one that would be alright for. Because he's like a robot, so they could have just left that's his off. Oh, is he the new David or yeah. whatever they're called? The new Wayne yeah. robot? What's it called? Oh, I think that's that's called. it's called Walter. Yeah, David. David. Well, yeah, it was Walter. But he's still, he's still David as well. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Is he? That's cool. He was he was David in Prometheus. Oh, wasn't double he? the fuss, yeah, yeah, he was David yeah. in Prometheus. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was a tiny head left, and the lady had to carry him around. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in that. Prometheus yeah. or Covenant? Prometheus. Yeah, in Prometheus, he gets his the big dude is mad for God knows what reason. The story's fucking stupid. He <laughs> slaps his head off, and then he she's like he's like, hey, uh, not Ridley. I can totally help you get out of here. Just carry me. And she's like, okay. I forgot the story. Weren't the humans like the so? The of those story Promethean was people? a group of aliens that had no reason to give a shit about us at all. Did a thing for literally no reason. So everyone in the universe wanted to find out why they did that thing. And then the people showed up and did everything possibly wrong and stupid to get themselves <laughs> trapped in a giant alien maze and to get killed by a thing that had no reason to like them. Pretty much. Didn't, yeah. They, yeah. didn't they create us? More they, or less. I remember now because it did. Yeah. yeah, but they don't really explain yeah, yeah. why or for what purpose or it was dumb. But also, wasn't there a plot hole or continuity problem with Alien versus Predator? Or is that? Not <laughs> I think I think yeah, those movies aren't that. canon actually. Okay. I mean, yeah, I gave up on a, that. Really bugged me at the time. I gave up on Prometheus when the fucking tracking and navigation expert gets lost within his first three steps on the planet. <laughs> what a waste of my Cut time. Five the ship. Literally, he was the like dude right who had the, the sensors and he would whistle at them and shit. And he gets lost almost immediately. Yeah. I mean, which one was it? The scientist guy who first got the little leech attack oh yeah and then the the field scientist when talking to a new species decides the best course of action is to reach out and grab it i just i would really love if movies were a little more realistic about that first contact like instead of hey little guy <laughs> hey we're yeah. not gonna hurt you it's i mean that should be holy fucking shit we found life call sure NASA. <laughs> and then i piss myself <laughs> later i would Venus. cry question my Sex life it. at that moment male or female we need to know for science it's doing a jig. <laughs> like, oh my god, they're not sticks. They're insects. Life. Get them. <laughs> what was your most hated part about Alien Covenant, though, Alex? Um, without spoiling, without it, spoiling it. Audience. Yeah, um, they get up thought, But specifically, yeah, be as specific be as you can. Be as specific. <laughs> um, Tell us about the whole scene. The whole Give us scene. context. Be vaguely specific. <laughs> be specific about useless details All right, about Alex, Or just like tell, us. Alex, tell us. Alex, tell us your least favorite part. And just, tell us. just keep asking me questions. Just keep well, asking no, tell, me for real questions. Jesus. Tell, <laughs> tell, it, tell what happened, but tell it in terms of other movies. But how did you like Rocky? In exactly. Space? Rocky what did in Batman space? do in the um, movie? Use euphemisms. The part where Superman comes flying in. And I hate that part. The lightsaber gets activated, and, and then it's revealed that it's in a Star Wars movie. That was kind of cool. 
<laughs> now, if you've seen the actual movie, you know exactly what scene he's talking about. <laughs> that that yep. does sound actually pretty cool. Who would could a lightsaber cut through Superman? Probably. Mm, I don't think so, unless no. it's because like it a will look, kryptonite lightsaber. It would have to, because otherwise it would look really dumb if you could just deflect it with his, like, forearms. <laughs> it's fucking Get light. that pussy shit out of here, I'm Superman. So now, without stupid parameters, what did you least like about Alien Covenant? Um, I thought the <clears throat> inconsistent tone and terrible effects work was what bugged me the most. Um, yeah, it felt like a completely different movie, like two acts in. Yeah, it's like two and a half movies in one. Yeah. What is that? Um, and they, and they, I didn't think that the the alien, the xenomorph, is that what it's called? The xenomorph. Y- yeah, um, xenomorph. Could mm-hmm. be any less scary after, you know, AVP. Um, yeah, it was a little bit goofy. Um, it's just a stupid CG ridiculous spindly thing and it's not even it doesn't even hide in the shadows it just like runs around on, on its hind legs with all this stupid Jesus imagery and it's like fuck off fuck off <laughs> Jesus imagery yeah yeah is it xenomorph yes because that makes like total what? sense the merciless <laughs> killing machine is an allegory for God yeah it has these really ham-fisted religious themes Oh fuck that! It does. That it just really sounds does. horrible. That this, sounds terrible. The well, chest the first, scene. Did in that even look on a xenomorph? I don't understand how a xenomorph is. Did he like have a Bible and knock on doors? It wasn't <laughs> that. Like I don't know. No. When he bursts out of the, this guy's chest, he, he, no longer is it like a little worm thing, you know, like it always used to be. You know, mm-hmm. a little worm that has tiny little arms. And yeah, the uh, the face hugger. Really Jesus now. Yeah, instead of being yeah. like a little worm. Now it's just like a fully grown xenomorph, like a mini one that comes out, and it like no, that, that, that's a different species. What do you mean it's a different species? They're, they're yeah, all... they made a whole bunch of different species in Prometheus, yeah. the first movie. That... Like one of those big guys got impregnated by a xenomorph, that which then birthed out a blue little mini xenomorph that fucked the human, who then fucked one of the big guys. <laughs> what? Have you seen the Prometheus? Xenomorphs. I don't think. Yeah, that. come on. He's, he's watching the triple X version. <laughs> no, no. <The> parody. <laughs> <laughs> With Vin Diesel. And they fuck this, and then they fuck that, and the scientists fuck them. No, okay, no, 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 no. You're gonna give me some slack here because this is what happens. Okay, here's what had to happen for Xenomorph to exist. David had to dip his finger into the black goo, the semen, yeah. the alien semen. Yeah. He had to dip that into a glass and make a human drink it. So the human is infected with it. Those human, That human man had to fuck a human woman, impregnate her. She had to give birth to it. That alien she gave birth to had to face hug one of the big aliens, mm-hmm. and he had to give birth to the actual final alien, and out of that one crawled out the blue alien. But she she has a C-section. <laughs> that sounds that like a cheat code for an I Xbox she, game. I thought she, she murdered the sentence. baby. Doesn't she no, kill it? No, she had a C-section, yeah. but it didn't die. Oh, I thought it died. No, it did. Maybe you're forgetting no, that. It, it grew bigger. She had to close the doors on it. And then all the rest of what I just said happened, literally. This was the yeah, whole that, procedure all of that for happen, giving birth to. But yeah, it has no this, effect on Covenant, though. Yeah, no, but, but yeah, there are three different. There are oh, three okay, specific I'm... different um, species in Covenant. There's I know the, 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 the Neo Morph, which is like yeah, yeah. A, so uh, played by Keanu Reeves. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Blade, yeah. But he does the voice work, I believe, and the mocap. <laughs> it bursts out in the chest. The and goes whoa. <laughs> I know karate, <laughs> and he's the I best Xenomorph. Well, so it's like Pokemon now, different species. Catch them all. Yes, it literally is like Pokemon now. I thought I thought Fantastic. the first two yeah. Alien movies had more of like a sexual imagery, they as do. opposed well, to religious. Yeah, there's. Uh, you're to just everything saying that because she had like a massive sexual. bush popping out of her panties. L- the, the, uh, she was hiding a tree in there. The face hugger literally has a pussy that has a dick that comes out of the pussy. Uh, that's what they are. It's fantastic. And then it like fucks your mouth. Did it? And lays an egg in your throat. Just like Jesus. Yeah. Just like Jesus. <laughs> that's exactly what Wait, I what, think what, of. what alien movie did you watch, Alex? What movie did I watch? Yeah, wh- oh, what website did you watch it? Porn? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm a true alien fan, not you fucking covenant hey, lovers. Hey, man, I've seen them all. Yeah, I've seen I've all seen of them. them. Yeah, I, right, I understand the uh, overbearing pornographic imagery. <laughs> I understand it. I thought Have Prometheus seen was an design? average film. And Alien Covenant was also an average film. I don't think there was just Alien and Alien 2, though. Or Aliens. No, de- 
No, that's not even up for debate. But yeah, I, I really I, don't like. Am I? I like David Sorry, a lot. I really think oh, he's a he's really a cool fantastic villain. character and a great antagonist. But yeah, I think he was when cool. he's Judy. when he's the only character that you can kind of remember after the film's done, then the film has a severe issue. That's not true. I can remember. Um, I can't remember. Like the Deb, just, Deb from Dexter. She was in the movie. She uh, did something. She died in the shower. They all died. Well, they were um, just meat for New Ridley. Yeah, who's Which New one? Ridley? There's two different New Ridleys. Sorry, New Ripley. That one. Or Ripley, yeah. I called her Ridley earlier. Too. Yes. Yeah. Right. Ripley. Right. The director's Ridley Scott, and yeah, there's okay. the Metroid character. The director's Ridley. Yeah. <laughs> so the, fucking yeah, confusing. You have the giant space dragon. Hmm. He wants to make like 27 more as well. He wants to explain, you know, what color the alien's shit is. <laughs> he wants is. to ruin his career <laughs> even further. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, can't I'm just fine leave it alone. with him making more. Eventually, maybe he'll one will be as good <laughs> as just the original. Get Eventually, we'll tie back to the first one, and then it'll... I mean, if they all include Michael Fassbender and chronicle his aging into a nice old. Oh hunk. yeah, that'd be cool. Actually, no, well, he's playing an android. He wouldn't. He, yeah, he, would he have won't to age. Not age. Yeah. Oh, even better. Oh, dude! Eventually, they're gonna have digital actor Michael Fassbender, and it's gonna look awful. <laughs> oh. Oh god! You know what they're gonna do? It's gonna look like that. They're gonna have this whole thing where like CGI Kirk, the a a, a, Zeno, a face hugger is gonna somehow like evolve into wanting to face fuck the robot David, and then there'll be like a robot Xenomorph. Oh, oh I, I can only get that so sounds wrecked. cool again. That sounds yeah, amazing. It's like Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla, <laughs> except it's Ridley and bad characters versus Cyborg Xenomorph. That's stupid enough Holy for it to God. actually happen as well in like the next one. I'm yeah. That's so I'm all cool. For it. That would be awesome. I would love it. That would be fucking awesome. A great crossover. Don't you just hate that every movie Andrew. has to explain all the old shit? We have to explain what the Force is in Star Wars. We have to explain nah. why <laughs> the Xenomorphs... Yeah were there, we why the eggs were there on that ship. Why can't you just leave it? Yeah. We have to find out why Han Solo's called Han Solo. You know what I mean? I feel that. Fuck yeah. I, always, yeah. I never really liked that either. I don't care for it. No, but we're, I don't care, yeah, no. When it's, like, not subtle, yeah, that's annoying, but I like knowing more information about the worlds that I'm watching. No, he means he means recapping. Oh. Basically, like, and explaining little like trivial details. Contradicting the whole point of something. Like the point yeah. of the xenomorph, like it's scary because that film is about the unknown. It's about not knowing. The thing that makes it scary is the fact that you know it's well, you don't know what it is instead of knowing that it's like yeah, like a engineered creature that was like I, was, <laughs> I didn't even know. It's so fucking stupid. Yeah, <laughs> when they give context to like things yeah. that don't matter, that's annoying. Yeah, yeah but yeah. I would say the scary thing in the first film was the isolationism. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's the whole theme of the movie. Yeah. yeah. But that's, actually, that's what terrified me as it's a kid watching it. It's all dark and shit. You barely even see the xenomorph and alien. Yeah, but when you do, it ruins all the immersion because you can so obviously tell it's a giant dude in a dress. Giant dude. A they found a nine foot tall man to skulk around the ship. <laughs> Have you seen the test every, footage every... from um, the first alien? It's fucking mm -hmm. creepy no. as fuck. They, they did this like test with this really skinny guy. Who would just like slowly walk around in the alien suit? And it's f you can find it on YouTube. It's horrifying. It's f so would you say fucking it's weird. More terrifying than the actual alien itself. Um, That's what the director's cut is. It's just him without a suit on. There's something disturbing <laughs> just about the it. Guy. I'll just leave it that way. You can find it on the YouTube. Sticking his tongue out, <laughs> <laughs> fucking your face. And, every, and they have to edit the scenes carefully because he keeps screaming, "I'm the Xenomorph!" <laughs> just horrifying. Yeah, scariest mm. thing I've seen. So, Andrew, I had a question for you, actually, that I thought of during the stream, but I didn't want to... I don't know, you were kind of busy raping our Moobot. Yep. If You you once said you your dream is to direct movies or write movies, uh -huh. right? Okay, so let's say I gave you infinite uh, funding. I've had okay. this question before. And total creative freedom. Yeah, we did no, no, this. I, I just, no, I have one limitation, though. He, he, told, he asked it to Adam, but I don't think he asked it to me, either. Yeah. No, I'm just going to say... You can make any movie, but one restriction: it has to be like a fan fiction. It cannot. Okay. You have to pick up an intellectual property, someone mm -hmm. else's. It can be a game, book, movie, whatever. What would you pick? Okay. Here's the thing: I need one question and answered. And what would you do? Am I making okay. this movie to make the biggest profit, or am I making it for no, my no. own personal movie? No, this is not an investment. It's my gift to you. I'll okay. give you a billion dollars, and I say <laughs> go nuts. But it cannot be your original uh, IP. 
you have to build it on top of something that exists. Well, at that point, why wouldn't you want to make the most money? Well, no, he's so saying you could, to make my artistic yeah, no, dream you, come true. When you put, when you, what are you going to be passionate about in someone else's creative world? I think there's a lot of people who can do, yeah. be passionate with other people's works. You just shit on everyone who writes fan fiction yeah. about us. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> no, that's cool. I like that. There, that's different. That's because it's about us. So I'm passionate about that. I'm not passionate and, about Halo fan fiction, though. Yeah, but a lot they of people are. are. Yeah. I, I doubt <laughs> it. Fuck. That passionate? All right. If they were handed a um, hundred million dollars, they'd do a Halo f- fan film. It's the same it's thing like with Logan. Dollars. The dude didn't write the comic books. He liked the comic books and made Logan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he he did that for the money as well. Logan. Good point, Charlie. I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, everything's. It's not for the money. Like he went against the grain. He made it R rated. He made Logan vulnerable. He did everything yeah, that was against what Deadpool. the character Deadpool established. Deadpool R rated. You're gonna see. I mean, it was one of the R-rated. highest grossing R rated yeah, exactly, movies exactly, ever that's made. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Because it was R rated. I mean, <laughs> Logan no. was R rated before. No, no R rated doesn't always mean success. Judge Dredd, the second one, was R rated. It wasn't a big uh, profit. Uh, reeled in the, the 2012 one. All right, in but new go ahead. So anyway, what, what would I, you make? Yeah. I would probably make a movie version of Metal Gear Solid Three. I knew I was going to finish that sentence yeah, for you because really? I knew exactly what you were going to answer. <laughs> I, I would take either that or one of the other Metal Gears, and I because I they're making a Metal Gear movie, and I think it's in development hell, and I just know for a fact it's going to be utter shit. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. if I if I had like the creative freedom, but I had to use an existing IP, I'd want because Metal Gear is already incredibly cinematic yeah. and really based in movies. I think that if you did it right and knew the source material, you could turn it into a really good movie. So that's what All I right. would do. Interesting. And also, David Hayter would play Snake. <laughs> Fuck Kiefer Sutherland. <laughs> Kiefer, well, yeah, yeah. He, I think he did is a that shitty who they job. And, well, so uh, David Hayter was Snake in one through four, and then for five they replaced him with Kiefer Sutherland because Kojima has a boner for like big Hollywood shit, and he was like, "I'm going to get the guy from Twenty Four. It's going to be amazing." But Kiefer's performance in five is pretty fucking boring. What about you guys? Then? Yeah, same question. Oh, I don't know to be honest. I, I ru- if it had a good director and you know just uh, people who actually gave a shit about it, I think a Metroid movie could be really cool. Yeah. Oh that yeah, could I cool. could see that for sure. You'd make it like Alien, but a little more action based, like Aliens. Yeah, that'd be really good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I would love that. Charlie That's would make a burping the, film see, the where he burps for a of- solid ninety minutes. Video games, a lot of them take inspiration heavily from a lot of movies already, like yeah. you said with Metal Gear. That's true. But Halo is Aliens. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah I was, I was going to say a Halo film with the style of Alien could be cool. Wasn't there supposed to be a Halo web series? There is, yeah. and it's TV on show. Netflix. There's one on Netflix. There? There's a series, yeah. There was, oh. there was, there was supposed Nightfall? to be... Yeah, there was supposed there, to be a Spielberg show, which was yeah, producing yeah, yeah, something. When, yeah, yeah. It's been cancelled. When Halo 3 was... Fr- Oh, yeah, yes. Halo 3 was first coming out. It was going to be directed by Neil, Neil Blomkamp. Yeah. yeah. Neil yeah. Blomkamp. I remember yeah, that. Neil Do you Blomkamp. remember that teaser? Well, I can't remember if it was a teaser or if it was a short series. It was just a short. Yeah, it was, it was a just short. short. But yeah. And it was fun. It was pretty it was cool. cool. Yeah. None of the other, like, web series or whatever that they did, like Nightfall or the school one, were Nightfall really was any good. Nightfall fucking awful. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, then they what were would all you, really boring. What would you do if you say the other restriction was it can't be from a video game? What would you pick? Uh, Alien. Hentai. Wait, who is that directed at? <laughs> What'd you say, Charlie? Just hentai in general? <laughs> yeah, like uh, the hentai, the hentai where you ha- where you have to fuck a doorknob that is also a woman in order to open that door. <laughs> Sorry, Adam Sandler. I'd base my. I'd make <laughs> Euphoria the movie. Oh god, What's that? Euphoria. Oh man, I've told you about Euphoria. It's Why? Uh, where <laughs> Why? <laughs> C. Jackson knows what Euphoria is. All I have to say is Euphoria has a scene where four girls have a. Uh, tubes in their asses and mouth forming a circle and uh they have to eat in a straight line if you know what i mean (laughs) like human centipede yeah but it's supposed to be like sexy oh yeah i think it's me going like a tube full of shit (laughs) it's really funny there's a video online where they take that scene and as soon as the shit starts flowing down the tube they put on initial d music and it cracks me up every time (laughs) I love Euphoria. Um, oh, Charles. That's probably not my actual answer, though. You already gave your actual answer. Yeah, well, without many... video games, they're set. Well, 
It's Alex's turn to answer. Oh, that's we true. Haven't, he hasn't answered, even though I don't think it's a really good question to begin with. Ooh. Oh, well, fuck you. So a yeah. movie that's based on a fan fiction that can't be a video game. Or any IP. I don't understand the fan yeah. fiction bit. I don't either. Yeah, no, it's intellectual property. Yeah, you mean you just have to make it in an established, like... What you're making is essentially going to be yes, a fan sir. fiction. Yeah. But in movie form. L- Glorified fan fiction. You're making blank the movie. Like World of Warcraft, the movie. You, you know, have I mean? that, though, oh. and it was weird. That's what I'm saying. You're making it however you yeah. want. Which one would you want to see? <laughs> but but not a video game. It can be yeah, a video I mean, game. It can, it can be a video game. Um, so Halo then. Okay. Yeah. I think that one's pretty pretty easy pick as well. Yeah. Well, it's such it's a too late now to do, but they'd be that'd actually be neat because the uh the dude who voices Master Chief, you could just get someone else to act him yeah. and then like dub his voice in and yeah. have the same exact thing. That'd be cool. As long as he's always in his suit, yeah. 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 But you'd probably still get the guy from the Lord of the Rings and the the famous mocap actor. Oh, here we go. Oh, Andy yeah. Circus, Andy Circus is Master Chief. There. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just for the sake of having his fucking name attached to the project, even though no one would tell the difference. So let's steer away from movies here, Alex. What in the last couple of weeks since your audio was working mm. has changed in your life? Um, not much to be honest. Thinking about buying a bicycle. Mm. That's about it. <laughs> That's a horrible idea. It's Bad idea. idea. I've well, eaten wait. so much shit on a bicycle the last few months. It's disgusting. Do you know really? how to ride a bike? Yeah, it's. Well, no. I, I know how to ride a bike, but it's been like twelve years, and I bought a bike like must have been eight or nine months ago. Immediately, I've just been eating shit on it, and it's a really shitty bike. I've been trying to sell it, and no <laughs> one wants it. Maybe you should get some plates. I need some training wheels or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, for real. Well, Alex, what city do you live in? Because that really dictates the usefulness of a bike. I don't live in a city. And what street did you All right, well, on? you already had a good decision buying a bike then. Yeah, I live in a, a, a small town. Oh, then A perfect. village? How many people? Uh, nice. Like 20,000 or so. Is it a shanty town? Did you say 20,000? Yeah. Oh, that's much larger than me. We have to think about like how, how you. dense. You live in a zoo. Think about how densely populated the UK is, though, compared... To America and Australia and whatnot. We have too many people, damn it. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm afraid I don't have up to date data on the population density. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought well, I was you just... are living on a fucking island. Yeah. Well, so you know, loads of places are, are, are an island. Do you yeah. want to go in the ocean? Yeah. God. It's it's not like what New Zealand, which has like more sheep than people, or whatever. Yeah, I'm it's pretty sure Australia has more sheep than people as well. There's a lot of sheep in the world. No, not anymore. Australia just declared war on sheep. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> well, actually, knowing Australia, well, that means the lose. sheep's population is going to increase tenfold. <laughs> they're going to win. Yeah. Yeah. They, don't, they don't use conventional means. We're not prepared. <laughs> they're so fluffy, if you shoot them, you kind of really hit the meat inside. Yeah. <laughs> the meat inside. I like that term. AKA what the sheep is made of. The meat What else, inside. Alex? Besides bicycle, what else has been new? Well, I guess the prospect of a bicycle is what's new since you didn't get one, but besides that thought. <laughs> hmm. Have you been on any podcasts recently? No. Apart from my no. own one. No. Liar. This one, yeah. I saw you. Yeah, you were I here every you. week. God. I was here every week, but you fucking edited me out. But apart from that, we didn't edit you out. We saw that you had uh, talked about us on another podcast recently. Busted. Really? Busted. If, even cheer. if it was only for like 10 seconds, it still made me smile Which a little one? bit. What was it, Kaya? I can't remember now. I think, no, it was... Uh, was, uh, it, was it Catch 33? Oh, uh, yeah, that one. Bleep that. Bleep it out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've been on Baited. <laughs> no, I, I'm, it was I'm not when like you said Catch 32 or whatever. Angry enough about anything. Yeah, that's another thing, Alex. You and I, uh, I, I don't think this town is big enough for the two of us. Shit. <laughs> because in a lot of comments, I keep seeing, you know what, this Kaya guy, he hates a lot more than Alex mm. does. And also, after our first, uh, when you first came on our show and all the uh, subsequent episodes as well, yeah, all of us were convinced you were a poser. You did not hate on all that much. I know you probably hear this a lot, but yeah, 
apparently I'm the real life. I hate everything. I kind of I keep all what the things I want to hate that? to the videos I make, and I try and not just constantly drone on about how I don't like taxes and stuff in podcasts because yes. you probably get bored of that. Oh, it's almost like a personality. Well, I, I wish Kai would learn that lesson. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you know, you know what though. Every, basically, every day I think about you coming on that poster. Like, I think it's the funniest <laughs> thing in the world. Aww. I'm serious. I well, think about it every day. an awe moment. <laughs> that Not was really cute. Way. Not in a sexual Alex, way. Of course. I think Alex wakes up in a I mean, cold sweat sexual. every night in bed <laughs> yeah. and goes, there's cum on that poster. <laughs> I, it's just the logistics of okay. it fascinates me. I, I can't... I, <laughs> I mean, it's a waist level. It's a, we've gone over this like at least six times. <laughs> Who has a poster you- at waist level though? I just find it <laughs> really strange. It's on the, it's a little carton poster that is, it can't stand upright. You don't have well, to hang it anywhere. With so how it's frozen frozen stiff place. it is now, yeah. you can bet it will stand upright. <laughs> that too, but you can pretty much just lean it against the wall. And, and fuck it. Kaya, yeah. if you pick up the poster and hit it against a wall, will it shatter into pieces? Or does, like, <laughs> dust <laughs> come? Cummy dust kind of go poof, all over oh, the place. Have you, have you seen the photos, Alex? <laughs> it's like a movie window. <laughs> like opening a mummy's tomb. <laughs> I haven't seen any photos. Kaya, you're going to send, oh, you you're gonna have to send Alex the photos. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where they are. <laughs> Just right. yeah, he uh, sent. Should I? He sent some I photos. So. It's a lot. It's a, in my opinion, it's a lot more tame than you would expect. I was actually disappointed. Yeah, no, is, yeah. one of the photos yeah. made me recoil a little. Well, yeah, when he did like a, a microscopic yeah. view of it, yeah, and you could see all the DNA. <laughs> I'm <laughs> still waiting for like I'm still waiting for like mushrooms to sprout on it or something. Uh, I, don't, I think it's just dead calm. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely some some perished babies in there. But <laughs> for real, like his. His testicle protein on it isn't quite as caked on as you'd expect. I guess it's just the concept uh, that I find so dear. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna copy these links for you here in this chat. <laughs> <laughs> They're long links. They're from Discord. We sent these to our patrons. Here we are. <laughs> you can finally sleep easy tonight. You're having that closure. That is fucking vile. <laughs> <laughs> a little more. <laughs> <laughs> I love I will never get over the wild <laughs> it's so I love his weird. face it looks like a nose he looks like he's waiting for that money shot <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I think that does live up to expectation that is a, that is exactly really? what I envisioned yeah uh, I guess I guess all the hentai have, spo- have spoiled me <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck it's just well, so I, well, many Alex- questions yeah, good news though. You're in luck. The uh, poster is on sale for twenty five thousand this month. We've yep. we've half it. Yeah, until the May twenty fifth of this May. But <laughs> when this podcast goes up, it'll be too late. I'm afraid, unless you're in early access. <laughs> in which case, you'll have the last. Hey, you're not hours actually selling on eBay. <laughs> We're also not fucking kidding in any context. You can actually buy this goddamn poster. Oh hell yeah! What, the oh, poster. Yeah, yeah. He, he oh yeah. What is it listed on? And eBay. a fresh coat. Yep. It's on our Patreon, yeah, you can buy it. It's the highest tier, twenty five thousand. <laughs> we get we I still, mean we accept any sort of payments, wire transfer, fucking bitcoin. We still get t- a handful of messages from people like, Wait, is this poster actually real? Are you really <laughs> selling it? Is it yes? Yeah. All but we they're are, not serious we, buyers. There are no jokes. Some people get confused and think that it's not actually ready, like I would have to manufacture the order. <laughs> like, oh, are you actually going to come on this poster if I order this? No, it's it's ready and good to No, go. but you'll come yeah. on it if they, if they pay for it. You give it we a guarantee our code. posters absolutely pre-cummed. No <laughs> fresh jizz here. Caked in for your enjoyment. <laughs> doesn't it smell? It's like fine wine. <laughs> No, it doesn't. Ironically, it doesn't. Smell. He he keeps it fresh. Not ironically, it's vacuum sealed yeah. when it's not in use. It's like a mint Yu Gi Oh card. It, it's like a. It doesn't smell. It's like a fine cheese. You just let it age in a controlled environment. Oh god! Yeah, but unlike cheese, it doesn't smell. So there's that. It's a perfect trading card. <laughs> Except it's a poster. <laughs> yeah, but the Mother's Day sale is ending soon. So <laughs> get it if you want it. Yeah. Give her the gift she'll love. That is vile. <laughs> So there you go, Alex. Yeah. It's vile. It's perfect. It's perfect as like a house decoration as well. You can just chuck it up on your wall. 
Well, the craziest part about it is it's not just any old poster Kaya chose. That's like top of the line National Geographic poster. It's two hundred dollars. Oh yeah, I looked it up at some point. Yeah, apparently this line it doesn't even exist in sale anymore or in circulation. There's only one other poster of this uh, print <laughs> that someone is selling on their personal website for two hundred dollars. Now our poster <laughs> it usually cost fifty thousand, and I did the math. Now here, just bear with me. I'm not good at math, but my cum adds value forty nine thousand eight hundred dollars to the poster. <laughs> <laughs> My jizz is gold. <laughs> Have you ever thought about just ditching the poster part and just selling, like, cum? I've I've thought about that. We like the uh, official panties where we sell used underwear. I think that'd be interesting. Well, why would they be panties it, though? They cum, yeah. they piss. Well, yeah, yeah, all beautiful by it. Jackson Skidmark. <laughs> 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 oh. Well, it's a mystery like box. Army decorations. You'll never know what accident was had in those. Women do it. <laughs> well, yeah, those well, are... Yeah, because they're women. Oh, yeah. actually, I saw a post on Reddit the other day about a, a woman that sells shit-filled Twinkies. And I thought yep. that was genius. <laughs> There's a woman on Patreon who bakes her shit into cupcakes and sends them to you. And the best part is when she mails them, she has to mark them all over the box, exempt human specimen to get through, like, customs and shit. <laughs> Oh, wonderful! How much? I mean, how see, much they can do that because there's plenty. Oh God, of they're expensive as shit. And... There's well, I guess literally they are ex as expensive as shit, but they're really expensive. <laughs> well, she's like the goose that laid the golden egg. That is ridiculous. <laughs> but turds. Cold oh, turd. God. But yeah, I mean, I, they can get away with it because there's plenty of incels out there willing to pay for that. I'm, I'm gonna look this up. No one's right gonna now. buy our dirty panties. Yeah, it's a niche market for sure. Cum posters are much more mainstream. I mean, the thing yeah. is, it, it may be a small market, but those people pay top dollar because that's really mm. the only place you can get it. Never understood the piss and shit thing. Neither did I. The what? Until Kaya showed me the cum poster, then I knew I wanted it, but that's he won't cum, though, I understand Wait, wait, that. the piss, piss okay, shit. Uh, like... That's true. They, uh, did they eat, well, did they eat the Twinkies I mean, don't and lump in. Of course they do. Ugh. Wait, you're lumping in shit and piss, though. Like, piss is, like, level one no-no kink area. It's, like, kind of vanilla. Yeah. Is it? Mm. So you have a little piss on shit. you, then. A lot of people are into piss. Why? Are you? Are you defending it as what a piss lover? Why? Humiliation. Yeah. Uh, I guess, but there are... I just don't know why Okay, uh, Alex, there's, there's a saying I've heard when it comes to, like, sex. Okay. It summarizes... <laughs> It summarizes nearly everything and every question. <laughs> it's, I don't know why I like it, but I just do. And I think that's one of those yeah. cases here. You can't really explain why people like these things, but they just, they do. They know they do. I mean, I guess, I, I guess when I was a kid, I was, no, it's not humiliation. It's probably, it I don't is. Know, some, well, it doesn't, primal. it doesn't have it's to be. Just humiliation no, that's no, you're limiting it. There. No, I, I, before cum was invented, all you had was pee. It's like a primal thing, you know what I mean? What do you mean? When I was a little invented. kid, that's both like the most know? stupid and brilliant fucking thing I've ever heard, Charlie. Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's just as stupid. Yeah, no, there was an age before cum, Jackson, and back then all they had was pee. <laughs> yeah, Consider yeah, yourself B lucky. BC before yeah. cum, <laughs> <laughs> and then AD after dicks. Who invented cum? <laughs> when, was, when was cum released? It was probably Alexand Alexander Graham Bell. Yeah. Yeah, Thomas Edison was going to steal it, but he shit himself instead. <laughs> <laughs> the Twinkie market exploded that night. <laughs> Wrote the original music sheet where cum was made. I guess when I was a kid, though, like when I took a shower, I used to like try to ricochet cum off of the walls at myself and they're like pee upwards and get under it. But you'd, you'd only get one chance at that. Wait, uh, you, what do you mean? You That's came, a stream. You came in the shower? No, he. You no, said, P, P. You said come. P. You said come. Oh, I meant P. Sorry. Yeah, you P. did say yeah. Oh, well, no. I, yeah, I didn't boo -boo. get. I didn't get my cum glands until I was. I think older. we all did a <laughs> little oh, bit my... of pee showering. Oh, oh, absolutely. It's a, I piss it's a all over myself in the shower. <laughs> I think it's fun. <laughs> it's I, oh, I, just, man. I just piss down the drain. Oh, constantly. <laughs> don't open my mouth and aim up. <laughs> yeah, now that I'm hey. older, I don't do that anymore. Yeah, why I like to stare directly at my dick hole and scream as I projectile urinate my face. I used to do it like a little game where I'd pee up in the air and try and bend over fast enough like a bullseye. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, it's pretty gross looking back on it. <laughs> pretty self-efficient. <laughs> it's yeah. like the human version of a cat licking itself. 
<laughs> oh man, uh, can't lose those valuable liquids. So Alex, we asked our patrons this a while back. Well, not a while back, but during the hangouts, what is your kink? My kink. Ooh, you gotta ask something. Yeah, like what? what? Um, on, give us something. I think we've asked him this. No, no, no. At we least on one of the twenty-five episodes. Oh, probably, yeah. But the audience gone, so the audience hasn't heard it yet. That's fair. Um, don't really know. I, I don't. You don't know. Have you, are you a virgin? Are you no. Amish? I don't. <laughs> I don't feel like I have like a a really funny sort of kink thing. It doesn't have to be funny. <laughs> a really hilarious kink. Yeah, it doesn't have to be yeah, funny. It, have it can be, be educational. Funny. Well, what are your guys' ones then? Yeah. Loose, loosen me oh, up boy. a little bit with your kinkies. I don't want to say loosen I got judged me up like a little bit. Time. That sounds like a kink in itself. Mm. Get me in the mood. I'm actually in. Now I'm in Alex's boat. I can't really think of anything too interesting in that department for myself. Oh, the two I've big YouTubers don't have any kinks. What a surprise! They don't want to. They don't want it leaking. They don't want to tarnish their good if, reputation. Does it count if like your kink is temporary and then you get over it? It counts, yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. like, so I read a lot of hentai, and half of it, most of it is out of boredom, because I think some of those are fucking amazing. For a while, like, I don't know, maybe two or three weeks, I always looked up hypnotism. Oh, no, that is a, that's a good I'm kink. serious. And, like, uh, I didn't look it up in real form, because it's, like, it's fake and dumb and stupid, but in hentai, where it's, like, it's quote-unquote real, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It was just really fascinating and interesting, and I thought it was Super cool. It's hot as well. We're literally just having someone and going, suck my dick, and then they have to do it. It was, it was neat. I thought it was neat. That is interesting it's to hot. me. That would be super boring. Yeah. 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 Jackson, you've never said you're kink either, I don't think. Yeah, I have. Have you? What, tapeworms out of assholes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Jackson no, likes shy. pain. Uh, no, I, I like a lot of things. Um, you I'll, told me I'm you like, like pain a, at one point. Yeah, I, I do. I'll try yeah. anything, well, most things once. I don't have, like, a massive attraction to any kink, but I wouldn't, mm-hmm. like, put anything off, basically. Apart yeah. from apart yeah. from, apart from shit. I, I, mean, I have a very... I never go so you'd get pissed on, then? You'd happily be pissed on? Yeah. Yes, Alex. Yeah, that's not, that's not I, I would honestly try it. I would really? try it. Like, so what? You like lie down, they stand I'm a big over fan you, of R. and Kelly. they piss on you. You get the plastic sheets. Anyway. Yeah, open your mouth. <laughs> get get one of those tubes that you stick in your mouth, so that it'll, like a funnel. <laughs> a beer bong of piss. <laughs> go, go, go. They, they chug, just call chug, that chug. Miller Light. Yeah. Charlie, you were going to say something? I was going to say I'm pretty much in Jackson's boat. I have like this strict set where I'll do pretty m- or try anything as long as nothing goes in my asshole. This doesn't feel good. I'm, yeah, no, I mean, I'm the same, I'm, I'm the same way where I'm, I'm also open to stuff. Like I've had, I've been with girls and dated girls and had girlfriends where it was like, you know, like tie it up, and, like spank, hurt, pain, weird humiliation shit, all that. And like I've, I've tried a good handful of stuff. And while I'm always open to it, I don't think anything's ever been like, yeah, I'm really digging this. Nothing like grabbed yeah. me as much as it grabbed them. So, I don't know. I don't know if I have any either. Well, now that you've been loosened up, Alex, what do you think? Yeah. <sighs> no. So like, it- I just don't have anything. Like, I'm, I'm like, I'm not opposed. So as long as I, I draw the line at sort of fecal matter, you know. That, that's a good line waste. to draw. Yeah. yeah it's that's- just any waste. Like, I don't like piss either. I why would I want someone to piss on me? Just do. That's also a pretty <laughs> good line. <laughs> None of us do, unless you're really horny. So yeah. you're saying if, if your you significant other was like, "I really want you to piss on me tonight." All right, all right, Alex. I'm going to actually it. give you. I'm going to give you an actually strong ultimatum. Okay. Let's say you have not been able to jack off or have sex or have any form of release. Not look at porn. Not do. Not even like flirt with girls. <laughs> okay. Nothing okay. for a full. Uh, let's say three four months a decent amount of time right and then eventually you go to a party you meet a girl you guys are talking and she says listen all i want to do with you tonight is take you to my shower and piss on you and that's it would you do it that's that's such a different situation though but he's saying he can't ever see it happening i'm putting him in like the horniest of mindsets and seeing if he would do it you get to release your load off when she just talks to her he can jack off on his own time but she leaves after that oh that's just selfish you see there's a detail here that has intrigued me. You said yeah. in the shower. Well, so you don't make a mess. Is that when most people get pissed Do you want on? her to piss on your bedroom floor? This is what I'm saying. This is sort of part of it that's always confused oh. me. Well, he can piss yeah, anywhere. It doesn't yeah, I, no, I, I looked up a bunch of like fetish stuff and how they do it. You get rubber sheets. I wasn't, you get the bedwetting sheets. So you I wasn't weren't kidding. joking. 
I was not like, making like, a joke. That's how they do it. Like they get rubber Tumblr sheets. Again. You look for the nearest room with the tiles. Or that too. Use yeah, the bathroom. Yeah. Well, go outside. Just go outside. Piss, piss in the shower. Get all naked. Act. Yeah, pretend it like, oh, honey, let's have a... It doesn't make it any more appealing, but like... Okay, look, I mean, let's, let's say... Now. Being outside doesn't make it more appealing? I, no, Alex, let's I'm pretend gonna, I'm your wife. pissed on. Alex, let's pretend I'm your wife, and I'm like, hey, baby, let's let's get naked and take a shower together, and then, like, midway through, I just start pissing on you. You're not going to find that (laughs) out? I think it was funny, probably, and and then be like, what the fuck? That's hurtful. What if your wife was, like, (laughs) moaning super hard at it? Like, oh, God, yeah, take my piss. Like, you wouldn't get into that? Wait, so she's pissing on me, or I'm... You're in the shower together, and she's pissing on you. Oh, my God. Like just without you're pissing warning. on each other. Just say you're pissing she's, on each other. I'm guessing. I'm guessing you turns. dropped the soap and ended up yeah. underneath her. So she's now peeing on well, you. First, I'd say, <laughs> do you mean to be pissing on me right now? And, no, <laughs> excuse me, darling. Do you mean this? <laughs> she's like moaning and getting into it. She's like, oh yeah, take my piss. And then I'd say, do you mean to be moaning while you're pissing on me right now? <laughs> Well, what the fuck do you think? Do you what mean, she, okay, to be either she apart. means to be moaning or she just discovered something new about herself, Alex. <laughs> You're the worst lover. <laughs> Jesus. No, I'm not. Why don't you come to my place and I'll show you otherwise. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Bring the poster with you. I want to add to it. <laughs> he wants to piss on it. <laughs> uh, I don't want to ruin uh, it. Cutie, you don't want to know my kinks. I'm a fucking degenerate. Well, why don't you elaborate <laughs> then? With piss is annoying. Piss is hardly... No. A- I don't wanna. Thing. These guys really fucking shamed me hardcore I, last oh. time, including our Patreon. No, I'm fully. Yeah. Kaya, there's nothing wrong with kinks. I've said this over and over and over again. Yeah, these guys didn't. Me? They were not very supportive of I my I said this stuff. on the stream that yeah. you and I did what for did fucking say? Battlegrounds. I said the biggest problem with American sex culture is shame. People feel bad for things they shouldn't feel bad about. Well, no, that's different. Well, <laughs> I don't think it is. You have a kink and you feel bad <laughs> the telling us. kink shame ever. <laughs> My kink doesn't hurt anyone unconsensually or anything well, like that. Uh, what, remind everyone what it was, because I forgot. No. <laughs> I like the one where the- I forgot what they're called, but the guy shit-talks the girl as he's about to- Yeah, do yeah. With. Uh, Those, face fuck it, they, face they don't fuck turn it. me on, but they- I, I laugh at them so hard. They're amazing. He fucking nails them. <laughs> oh, oh, man. It's face The fucking. one that killed me was, he's like, did you go to college? And she goes, yeah. And he goes, you got a degree? And she goes, yeah. And he goes, well, look where you are now. <laughs> <laughs> He's so fucking Imagine. brutal. Oh, it's great. He brings up their father's voice, yeah. fucking them. This, oh Jesus, those are so funny. And the guy sounds that. like an obnoxious fucking Brooklyn piece of shit too. Yeah, he does. <laughs> oh man, those videos are. I I hope they got paid fucking. well or knew beforehand because he is just a fucking stone cold motherfucker about that. Yeah, they let them go when they start puking and crying too much. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> honey, you're puking a little too much. Could you calm down a bit? Do you mean to be puking that much? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think's the most like ludicrous kind of porn series that there is? Oh, that's a good question. Fart porn. Nah, porn. dude. I gotta. There's weirder than that. I guarantee it. Fart porn is just so strange to me because like the titles on them are what throw me off. It's like <laughs> Brazilian cutie with prolapse rectum blowing oh. big puffs of fart smoke. Hot. <laughs> Vaping out of the ass. No, I've I've seen I've seen a picture of a chick. uh, You know dandelions. You know how you blow on them and you make a wish. Mm. Yeah, she Mm -hmm. she was farting on dandelions to uh, make wishes, and I thought that was funny. Oh, I mean, I'm just gonna go with a classic standby clown fetish. Clown fetish. Classic. Oh yeah, that's a big one. People are sexually attracted to clowns. Huh. Yeah. Well, like juggalos? No, juggalos. just clowns. Just like go to the circus, find bozo, and fuck him in the ass. That type of thing. Huh, it has a it has know. a scientific yes. classification. It's so common. It's uh, really? cholerophilia, the sexual it's... attraction to mimes, clowns, and jesters. <laughs> most li- jesters. most likely reason behind this is a lack of a strong childhood. What the fuck? What yeah, did you just did you just know that, is... that off the top of your head? I just urban dictionaried it. Okay. Okay. But but it is it's definitely it's under the philias it's fucking recognized yeah that is wild what is a strong childhood yeah. uh, I'm guessing like no strong male clown um, figures I'm, I'm guessing if you had a bad childhood or you grew up too fast it's a result I don't know. of single moms getting split up from their clowns <laughs> from their clowns <laughs> honey I know that you've been really enjoying Bebo being around the house but mommy has to go away for a while <laughs> you can't be our family pediatrician clown anymore say goodbye Bebo. <laughs> 
<laughs> squirts water in his face one last time. He's, Give me a hug, and then as soon as he hugs him, he zaps him with a fucking buzzer. Pulls a quarter out of his ear. This and is then, for the taxi. And then keeps pulling a bunch of fucking uh, strings out of it. What are those? The, yeah. the fucking handkerchiefs? Yeah. Oh, it won't stop! A set of fake arms. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> What do you th what do you think the weirdest one is, Alex? I wouldn't say it's weird, but it's just it's just a porn concept I find really funny. That it really tickles me. The whole um you know, the Tickling. like fake taxi thing. I find, oh, I, I find it really funny. Oh. This like disgusting, like middle aged, really sort of cockney dude. <laughs> We're all at love. Yeah. Oh I can't pay, I don't have any money. You, no, I, I think I, I know where you could pay me, love. I have a story on this, Alex. Uh, I was, I have a story. On I was on, I was on some porn website doing something for some reason. Maybe I was jacking Joking up. Off, I don't know. Yeah. But um, yeah, I was what else would you <laughs> <be> doing <laughs> my taxes. Yeah, I was, I was, I was researching a book report. Um, downloading Minecraft mods on your porn. I decided that I decided to check out the uh, the the fake underscore series. The the like amateur director or the yeah. the one where it's like oh i'll pay you 50 bucks to strip on camera and then eventually oh i'll give you 300 bucks to suck my dick all that shit mm. and like there's there's a handful of them they upload like every week or whatever they have a ton of videos and views and i don't, I don't know like amateur director or whatever they fuck and i you, you, i get to the exact one you're talking about the bald british dude in the taxi <laughs> yeah and i had never seen a shit before so i didn't know how it worked and he's like all right love why don't he didn't even like try in this video he just stopped the taxi in a corner and went how about you and me parking that lot and, shag? <laughs> yeah. and she and she went okay and i was like all right he's gonna fuck her and it just instantly immediately cuts to him completely naked having his asshole licked up <laughs> close by her <laughs> <laughs> it was the most like it was the most just whoa kind of moment I've seen in a long time. The escalation. Like, it, it blurs his face and he and he's like, how about we just have a shag? And I'm like, oh he's gonna like maybe grab the handy cam and bend her over the side of the taxi and like get her real good. Nope. He's he's butt naked, his ass right in front of the camera, and she's just tonguing it like there's trail mix in it. It oh Fuck. I, I haven't laughed so hard in a long time. It was so abrupt. If you can find that video, people out there, I have no idea which one it was, but it, it oh, comedy yeah, I gold. guarantee it took three seconds for someone to find that video. <laughs> he had it bookmarked. It was his favorite. <laughs> and now he feels embarrassed. <laughs> oh. He laughed? Oh, he laughed. Oh, no. I mean, I'll still jerk off, but I feel bad. <laughs> I, I hate the word shag. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Just... You make me horny, baby. Oh, fuck my minge. Why did me twat? <laughs> Was that Smurfette? <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. Of course, Smurfette walking around the Smurf village. I'll bang your coffers, don't you know? <laughs> the fake taxi pulls up and... Well, Smurfette was alone in the whole village. Oh man, Smurfette got dicked by like every Smurf so hard Smurfs. and you know it. Yeah. I think yeah. that was a Chuck Tingle fan fiction. Smurfette gets dicked down by the whole Velociraptor clan. In my butt. No, he'd get sued, would he not? Uh, I don't know. I know um, Christy Sims, who writes the dinosaur erotica, probably could step on that line and be okay. That uh, wait, why? Because uh, she she touches a lot of intellectual property. At least I think it's her that writes those. Huh. Yeah. I guess maybe I don't know. Wait. Maybe it technically qualifies as fan fiction that she can sell. Dinosaur. I thought yeah, fan there's... fiction is covered under fair use. It is, but not if you write like a whole book about it. I imagine that'd probably be a no-no. No, 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 no. There's the longest written English piece in the world is a fan fiction about Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> I'm Jesus. completely serious about that fact, and it's like, uh, oh, I'm gonna look this up. I I was fascinated by this. He's been writing it for like five years, but it's What's it's what? entirely just a fan fiction of Smash Brothers. Is it sexual or is it just no, like oh it's, and Captain Falcon got real cool with muscles bulging right, and hit it's, Mario? It's called the Subspace Emissaries World Conquest. <laughs> and it has three point five million words. <laughs> it is literally the longest piece of literature ever written. Holy shit. And it's shit. based on Super Smash Brothers Brawl and it's never been taken down or anything. I, I believe fan fiction in all forms. But he's forms, not selling it. Yeah, that's I mean, oh, you can Yeah, that's it. you're right. Well, I didn't think of that. Fifty Shades of Grey is a Twilight fan fiction. Also true. Started out. It's as, also but a piece she of shit. Change that. I mean, she probably just control. I mean, in the movies, the I assume it's not Bella and Edward. Yeah. 
I didn't know that actually. Oh, I thought you? that was just its own original thing. Nope. Nope. Oh, well, shit. Million dollar idea. It's right ruined there. it for you. Yeah, now I can't enjoy <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Darn. Man, I was enjoying that subpar romance plot with really tame bondage in BDSM, but now that I know it's based off Twilight, I'm just, oh, yeah, not for me. Yucky. It's no, just thank mum you. porn, isn't it? Basically. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. ever want to hear the phrase mum porn again, Alex. <laughs> mum porn. Oh, fuck. You got, you got me. You. Too, you got me. I guess you say mom. <laughs> mom. <laughs> mom. Make Why are you getting your pussy mom. fucked? No, hopefully not during the porn. Is that, <laughs> is that your American voice? Um, one of them. That was really good. Really? Yeah, are you, are you joking? It. Or? No, it sounded like a good Saturday morning cartoon character. Alex's <laughs> dreams of being an actor have reinvigorated. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Finally. He's calling up his agent now. His, All right, I can play more than just the British role. <laughs> it's time to shine. That's actually a good topic. What are some things that you found out about people that you had just absolutely no fucking idea were true or you're just astonished to learn? I mean, on that topic, obviously, the biggest example is Hugh Laurie. Yeah. Actually being and to follow up on Brit that, Christian Bale Britain. being British. Yeah, really? Christian Bale is British. And I swear yeah. to fuck, from American yeah. Psycho and Batman and all that shit, I had no idea until I saw him get interviewed. Yeah, he does not seem British. He doesn't at all. He seems really not... His accent is great. <laughs> and on Kaya's adorable laugh, I think it's time that we read our famous Patreon shoutouts. Uh, thank you for sending these in. So if you're uh, out of the loop, if you are a certain tier of donator on our Patreon, which we again thank graciously and every day that we are lucky to have it, uh, we will every month read a personalized shoutout of your choice from the host of your choice to you, the fans of our choice. Uh, cute. Who wants to start? Take... Jackson, go first. All right. This one comes from Alec, and he says, How do you guys describe the podcast to your friends and family, and have they ever listened slash watched it? M my brother watches every episode. Does he? Yeah. He found it um, not directly through me, but he knew about my stuff, and he found Charlie's channel through me, and he That's saw cool. I was on the podcast, and now he keeps up with it. <laughs> I, sh oh, I, yeah. showed, I showed my brother the uh, Hermit Crab episode, and now he doesn't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's about Dude. it. Well, just wait till we make it a shirt. He'll be real happy that yeah. you can give it to him. Excited about that one. For his birthday. Just make it say, I've got crabs, and give it to your brother. <laughs> now, the only ones in my family who even know what the internet is or what a podcast could possibly be is my brother and sister. Neither of them give enough of a shit to really listen <laughs> to it. They're busy people. That's about it. My mom and dad watch a couple every now and then. Aww. Uh, that's both supportive and possibly destructive. Wait, we talk about jacking off. He had to get him in. <laughs> he had to get his permission to put that episode out. <laughs> mom, dad, I talked about the winky whistle. Can I put it out? <laughs> winky whistle. <laughs> yeah, son, go ahead. That's, uh, that's my famous move. Uh, All right, Charlie. All right. Charlie's so up. the next one comes from David Dakota and William Schultz the Third Esquire. Oh Christ! <laughs> they say, "What's up, Hilton? It's critical. Please stand for the pledge." I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You forgot to read the wait three-ish seconds. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't read it. <laughs> oh, he you knows sage up. directions. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Very. very now cool. you did well, a good now job. That, now we can play ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, the next one comes from Rain. Why couldn't the eleven-year-old get into the pirate movie? Oh God, because it was rated R. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you turn into a flamenco dancer at the end there? <laughs> <laughs> Telling a oh, pirate joke, not seducing me. What the fuck? <laughs> oh man <laughs> the next one comes from meme gonzalez here's a classic joke passed down from generation to generation in my family what do light beer and sex in a kayak have in common fucking close to water <laughs> mm. that's a good one that's solid i mean it's a little better than r i'll give it that <laughs> i like the part of one yeah, Not to shit on you, Rain. I'm a big fan of those. But man, reading it out loud certainly takes some wind out of its sails. 
<laughs> well, speaking of uh, wind out of its sails, Charlie, you're up again. The next one comes from Jane's. Ja- Jesus. Jane's. 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 <laughs> Jane's addiction. Back from the grave. Are wieners part of the sausage family, or are sausages part of the wiener family? Hmm. Are they? Do they? Which one comes in a pack? Both. Both. That's an essential. Bit, yeah, right? pretty much. Are, are both. they the name of the same thing technically? No, no I don't more think or less. So. I don't think so. I think a Sausage, wiener is sausages specifically. Sausages are usually larger. Well, actually, here's the thing. I think a wiener is specifically a hot dog. And a, yeah. a hot dog is technically a type of sausage, so I guess all wieners are sausages, but not all sausages are wieners. Yeah. Yeah, I think, or I is think it you're the right. other way around? I, I would have to Google this, but I think that's... I think sausage is the more general class. You, th- wieners possibly? are subclass. Who knew there was such fucking death and technicality to wieners? I don't even yeah, know what a wiener mm. is. It's just not a thing in the UK. A wiener. Right. You guys, well, you have bangers, you have right? Bangers and mash, yeah. And Franks. You call them Franks in the UK. I just call them sausages. That's weird. Yeah. Hot dog sausage, normally. Hmm. That's a valid name. <laughs> so should I read this next one then? Yeah. Yep, yep, it, sa- it says that they want you to do it. Go ahead. So this one is from Ash Black, who says, um, I'm the f- I'm the favorite host. <laughs> I also <laughs> their message was. If you guys wrote, directed, and starred in a movie, what would the genre and general plot be? Wow, we just discussed that pretty much. More or less. Yeah, like, we, now have we have to star in it. Yeah. Do you want to answer this one? Yeah, or? Well, if I had to star in it. Uh, I've we, always had this idea that I thought would be cool about someone who keeps birthing themselves so they pretty much live forever. That is a cool idea. I like who that. Who would direct it? Uh, I mean, like, uh, hang on. It. Like, Piccolo in Dragon Ball, where he always puked out an egg, and then <laughs> little Piccolo would come out? Well, no, well, yeah, I guess, in a sense, except she would retain all the memories and everything, and she would just constantly be birthing, like, a younger version of herself, like a, sh- like a, sh- a snake shedding its skin. Uh, Either that, or I also, I also had a really interesting one, where a woman uh, g- gets pregnant, and then for 25 years, like, can't give birth... And then one day, a grown man just crawls out of her. That's her new son. <laughs> they actually already did that on um, Comedy Bang Plus, Bang. They yeah. already did that. Yeah. The yeah, joke was that joke, he but sure. he um, he finds a genie lamp and wishes he was never born because he's depressed. So the joke is he goes back inside his mom's womb and he grows up in there. Well, no, well, yeah. no mine was going to be a much darker tale. You know, this woman's constantly just pregnant for 25 years and there's nothing they can do. Like the baby's fighting it off because now it's like an eight-year-old boy in there. And she has to live with that psychological trauma. Like, who's going to love this perpetually pregnant woman? Will she ever give birth? And then one day, the grown man, he just comes out. Oh. And it's you? <laughs> well, it could be me if I'm starring. Charlie's it, yeah. acting debut. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Boss baby. Eight years old. I like that. Right, next one. I, um... I, I've been actually ripping out some movie <clears throat> ideas on my Twitter because I do that when I'm bored and I think I have decent ideas. Uh, one of them I wrote was a movie with Danny DeVito and Christian Bale and Danny DeVito has 72 hours to convince Christian Bale to have sex with him and uh, <laughs> otherwise he dies but the plot twist is the actors play each other. So Danny DeVito <laughs> plays Christian Bale and Christian Bale plays Danny DeVito. Um, but if I had to do one that I would star in I had another idea for a movie where Steve Buscemi is trapped in a DMV and he can't get his license renewed because no one believes that he's Steve Buscemi, the actor. They all think that it's just an impersonator and they're like, sir, we need your real name and all that shit. And it's like a psychological self-respective view where eventually he's like, maybe I'm not Steve Buscemi. Maybe I'm not who I say I am. So I would rewrite that to where I star in it. And the whole movie, I keep saying, I'm Steve Buscemi. I'm the actor, Steve Buscemi. And then the plot twist is at the end, Steve Buscemi is the owner of the DMV. (laughs) <laughs> and he's like what's the problem here so it like shatters my world to see him there <laughs> you look All nothing right. like I got really elaborate on these alright let's, uh, let's, let's, let's go to the next question alright so the next word comes from Edgar Juan I'm guessing this is anime trash one time when I was younger well I, I'm not insulting this man by the way <laughs> his, the, the, the alias he goes by is anime trash <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I like right, that. Just go, just go ahead and take that out. That's going to be confusing. No, I'll leave it in. Uh, I love you, Edgar. Leave it in with the disclaimer. 
One time when I was younger, I put a key in an outlet because I thought I could drive the house. <laughs> and I get some Tim Allen grunts and blue aprons in the comments. <laughs> Edgar, if that's a real story, you've become my fucking superhero. That's awesome. Uh, Wait, Tim Allen grunts in the comments, or are we supposed no, to No, he said in the no, comments. No, 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 Asking for comments. the comments. You're up, Kaya. Mm -hmm. Kaya's turn. I'm up. This comes from Andrew's favorite patrons, Anthony and Karina. I love them. We like you. They're great. Dearest official podcast, riddle me this. What's it like to be shameful mooches <laughs> off of Charlie's success? <laughs> Charlie, how does it feel to be the pillar supporting such debaucherous rapscallions? To the guest, if present, who's getting the better deal here? You or the official podcast? <laughs> he always knows Jesus. how to speak right to my heart. God. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Uh, um, um, feels good. Uh, uh, I'm Steve Buscemi. <laughs> You're up, Alex. We technically have a guest. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not Alex a guest, not so that's guest. why I haven't answered it. Why don't you pretend to be the guest as okay, a joke, just, Alex? Just for a one-off. Just for laughs, yes. Yeah, yeah. For laughs. Yeah, um, like next week you're going to be gone for some magical reason. Exactly. Um, I think I bring uh, a lot to the table. <laughs> I'm very well, important. This isn't it. This isn't an interview. You're, you're already here. Um, yeah, I, just, I, I've always been interested in the company. Um, <laughs> Who's getting the better deal, though? You're weaseling yourself out um, of this. I don't know. Me. That's what I like Damn to right. hear. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, don't forget it. The next one comes from Hope. She says, in quotation marks, it's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. On days like these, kids like you should be burning in hell. Some... I have been informed by a, a panel of experts. That is a quote from the game Undertale. I was going to say that. I didn't some, know uh, that. That's some edgy shit. I like it. I don't know why you want us to lie. You just wrote those lines. <laughs> <laughs> For your fan Yeah, fiction. all right. Hope. It's a weird name. You're you up, Jackson. <laughs> all right. This one comes from Matthew Precious Lepree. And he says, hey guys, my question is simple. What is your favorite slash dream car? P.S. If you say any kind of Honda Acura, I'm going to personally make sure by flying to you that you will learn by pain how insulted I am by your lack of knowledge about cars. P.P.P.S. Only few cars from the brands I've mentioned before are acceptable and I'll be the judge of that. Well, he immediately retracted the generalization what a, there. What a goddamn uh, quantified question, Jesus. I, I haven't. I don't give a shit about cars at the very least, yeah. so I would have to say any of the cool cars in Mad Max. Ideally one with a guitar player on top. I like Lamborghinis. My dream car is actually attainable. Um, I want a <laughs> Nissan Skyline GTR because that's what oh, I race. Oh, you want a Skyline? That's what I race every time I play Initial D. Oh, yeah. So I just want to drift it around. What about you, Alex? You strike me as like a car fanatic. Seriously? He barely bought a bike. <laughs> Couldn't even get to a bike. <laughs> I know shit's all about cars. I like those <laughs> really unsafe three wheelers. Oh, oh those are great. The reliable Wait, Robins One wheel on the front or one wheel on the back? On the front. Tuk tuks. Oh. What, are you mowing a motorcycle? No, a trike. Yeah, tricycles. They're called, they're called Robins, I think. Yeah, reliable they're called Robins. Stupid. <laughs> Yeah, I, so I've always stupid. wanted to ride one of those. They look fun. They look so goofy. They're basically a yeah. motorcycle that you don't have to worry about balancing. Yeah, all right. That's true, actually. <laughs> this next one comes from Joey. Oh, I didn't. I didn't answer. I have a real answer. Viper oh. GTS. I, I always thought those were really cool since I was a little kid. Go ahead, Jackson. Take the stage. All right. This one comes from Joey, and he says, "I know that Charlie has tattoos since I follow him on Snapchat, but I was wondering if any of the other hosts have tattoos and what everyone's opinions are on tattoos. I have a bunch of tattoos, so I'm interested to know what you guys think." We're talking about tattoos, right? I think so. Yeah. I don't. I don't either. I do not, and my reasoning has always been. I can't think of a single thing I would want on my body permanently. I wouldn't get sick of eventually. Yeah, same. Yeah, it feels like too strong of a commitment. Like, Definitely. I'm going to decide I want to wear this shirt for the rest of my life. Yeah, yeah I'm the same. Unless, of course, it's a board burger now, shirt. Now, follow up, <laughs> though, I love tattoos, and I've seen some amazing ones, and I have no problem with people getting them or anything of that shit. Why would but you? Some people are really actually are like, oh, you have tattoos? You're fucking thug. Or, oh, you have tats? Oh, that's so ugly. Thug. I mean, unless it's on, like, the face. Unless it's... Yeah, unless... Yeah, I mean, 
at that point you're disqualifying <laughs> if, yourself from society or the eyeball tattoo. If I ever get a tattoo, I'm gonna get Mike Tyson's tribal shit on my face. <laughs> They'll love it. Yeah. I like the roast. I, I'll never forget this of Ross, whatever, on the MTV roast, and he was talking to Mike Tyson went after like decades of boxing the face you fucked up the most was your own <laughs> <laughs> oh man can I can I just work in this clip here on why I love Mike Tyson uh at the roast of oh fuck I forgot who it was but Amy Schumer was there and it was her turn to go up and it was right after Ryan Dunn died and Steve-O was there you know Ryan Dunn from Jackass yeah, got in a car yeah. accident mm -hmm. so Amy Schumer her joke was like Steve-O's here and I bet he's thinking you know why not me and like Everyone went uh, started going, oh, oh, and you could see Steve-O actually tearing up. Instantly, as soon as, like, silence falls, Mike Tyson sits up in his chair and he goes, fuck you, Amy! <laughs> I'd laugh my fucking shit off as soon as he did that. It was great. Was Amy Schumer big back then? That was, like, eight, It was when she ago. was up and coming. Wow, what a but cunt. just the way he screams, fuck you, Amy, with such ferocity, it's, oh, it's... Was this when she was still, like, thin and... I, I mean, well, uh, let's... Pretty. I can't think of a time before modern history, Kaya, so you can't go back that far on me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, uh, Alex, you want to read the next one? It's to anyone. Any other hosts? So this one's from Tyler Cannon. What do you love to hate the most? As in, what <laughs> shitty things do you enjoy hating? That's a like, weirdly That is a really question. good question for yeah, I didn't even actually. read that. Yeah. Yeah. Where to begin? I, I love hating wasps. Ooh, That's a good, good choice. choice. Oh, they're just the scum of the earth, pretty much. Yeah. There's nothing good about wasps. Yeah. I fucking hate wasps. And daddy long legs as well. Oh, what? They're, oh. They're, they're nice. Well, okay, yes. now, now you're going too far. No, do you know what I do? No, do you no. know what I do with daddy long legs? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I, I pick up my corgi and he loves eating them. And I use him as like this sort of a cannon thing. Player. Like a vacuum cleaner, yeah. Oh. And um, it just he just goes and munches them. Yeah. Oh, that's me. Isn't it dangerous at all? How's it no. dangerous? He's a corgi. He's like tiny. Oops. Well, no, no, not, not dangerous no. to like, not like the spider is going to kill the dog, but isn't it kind of <laughs> hazardous to eat a spider? <laughs> Probably yeah. not. They're, I mean, long, daddy long legs are super tiny. Yeah. They are super yeah. venomous though, aren't they? Yeah, but no they're venomous and the thing is their fangs are so tiny they can't penetrate human skin or anything <laughs> yeah. so they're not even well, I, deadly or wasps I mean he's the dog is eating them it doesn't no, need to penetrate the skin there's a difference between venomous and poisonous venomous oh you said venomous yeah, Wait, yeah. The, the, venomous okay, yeah. is venomous that thing po bite, is, it bites you to poison it poisonous is you bite it to get poisoned yeah right sorry yeah. sorry I tuned out it's alright mm. just don't let it happen again moving along <laughs> All right, this one comes from Andrew. She says, remember, life is a box of chocolates, so you have a few good ones and the rest just fucking suck. <laughs> Feel that? That's a, little, that's a little words of wisdom in there. I Thanks like for it. that, Andrew. <sighs> uh, yeah, I just, I had to have you read that, Jackson. So, you're up, Kaya. It says, or Charlie, but okay. This one is from... <laughs> my speech impediment. <laughs> <laughs> this one is from Casey. He says, this is less of a message and more of me needing some advice. My dad is a hardcore Christian conservative. The other day, I asked him why Donkey Ollie died for our sins. He told me <laughs> Donkey Ollie was not real. What do I, I do? I love how you can tell he wrote it on his phone because Donkey is lowercase, but Ollie isn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what could you do? I don't know, man. You could probably say that Donkey Ollie is running as a Republican. He'll believe it. That's a rough situation to be in. I'm sorry to hear that, Casey. Yeah. One day he'll come around. Try divorcing your parents. Unsupportive parents suck. Well, it's not unsupportive. It's That's just very ignorant here. It's just realistic. No, it's ignorant to just assume Donkey Ollie isn't real. It's ridiculous. The talking donkeys actually in the Bible. I mean, your dad might just have to actually sit down and learn his Bible. <clears throat> You're up, Jackson. This one comes from Matt. He says, does the man make the penis, or does the penis make the man? The penis makes yeah. the man, because the doctor, he pulls you out of your mom, he looks at that lump of flesh, and he sees a little pecker and goes, that's a boy. I, I feel like, by definition, the penis makes the man. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But, the man makes also the penis, since you have to have a dad, and he makes your penis, kind of technically. Oh, yeah, my dad's touched my penis? <laughs> Fuck, this is going real hard. Well, he didn't hand manufacture your dick. Like, <laughs> he like sculpted it out of clay and semen. went, make it look like that. 
3D pyramid. <laughs> and put it up in his wife's vagina to try and like get it up to the fetus. It's gonna be a boy. <laughs> Take it. Like people who built little model boats yeah. and glasses. His, and it, my son's gonna have Bluetooth <laughs> dick. God damn it! I didn't get the low grade model. <laughs> Bluetooth dick. You're up, Kaya. Brandon says, "How did you find the Captain Pronin series? And are there more episodes?" Also, thank you guys for the quality content. Kaya, have you had any more encounters with the leathery-handed cashier? Also, thank you guys for the quality content. Uh, yeah. I mean, I kind of just had to bite the bullet and suck it up and buy my shit there since it's just so much cheaper. But I I still hate him. For Captain Pronin, uh, it was in a comment section of an old Russian propaganda video that I was laughing at. And they said, reminds me of Captain Pronin or something along those lines. So I looked it up until I found that series. No, there's no more episodes. They do have a PS1 game that's impossible to download, though. No, that's a shame. You, you can have... take this one, Alex. Oh, what are you going to say? Well, do you want this no, one, I was going to say, I, I, I think I have like one towards the end. I was going to ask if I could do it. But no, nah, let Alex yeah. do it. He's the guest. He's the host. What are you talking about? He's the ghost. I'm the host with the most. Exactly. Alex, if you <laughs> want to take it, go ahead. <clears throat> this one comes in from Andre, who says, I've been loving every one of these podcasts and you guys make my day better. For Charlie and all others who care to answer, do you have any issue eating ass? If not, given the chance, which celebrity ass would be your first um, I have no eat? issue. Uh, I have no issue. No issues. Emma Watson, Ruby Rose. Alexandra Daddario. The Armistice. I mean, if they wipe, sure. <laughs> yeah, it just it just takes some proper hygiene to make that pretty pretty easy. I don't know if they meant like issues eating ass as if like the procedure is difficult because it's pretty straightforward. I don't really struggle in that. Well, there's a bit of skill to it. <laughs> Not really. A bit of skill want, to what locating the I hole. I want to see Charlie spreading some butt cheeks, see a butthole and going, "Now what the fuck do I do with this thing?" <laughs> do I whisper into it? How do I eat you? <laughs> Mine's Alexander Daddario. She's hot. Mm. Celebrity ass. Ah. <laughs> what Jesus? You all right? I, I just like that celebrity ass. <laughs> um. I just like that. Oh, I, Ariana Grande. Oh, yeah, same, also. Same. I gotta go. I gotta go She's with so a stra- uh, standby answer of uh, Charlize Theron. Oh, yeah. Pro- also, also her, yes, but she has to cosplay for Yurio. So yeah, it, if not her, then Mila Jovovich. Oh, yeah. What about you, Alex? Not bad. I'm thinking uh, Jonah Hill would be my answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. Going for the do, dirtiest butthole do, around. <laughs> do Seth Rogen, so while you eat him, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> You're eating my ass, dude. <laughs> yeah, okay. So he farts and he's this. like, Can you smell that Carolina Kush? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. So it's like an older. That's Beavis. gonna be in the trailer for his next movie. I oh, guarantee fucking to it. He watched his podcast for his ideas. <laughs> right now he's sitting at home going, that's fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> and his son comes in. He's like, what are you watching, dad? <laughs> <laughs> Alex is getting a real hood out of your uh, Logan family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he really liked that. I You're love it when Alex loves. <laughs> You're up, Kaya. Sorry. All right. I just want to reiterate how much I want to eat Ariana. <laughs> oh, same. Okay. This is from Solly. Mine would be Emma Watson. Just an easy one. You're up, Kaya. That is a good one. Also her. All of them. Like a buffet. <laughs> this one's from Solly. Wouldn't, wouldn't human genetic engineering eventually lead to incest? We would replace genes that make people prone to genetic disorders with healthy alleles? Alleles. 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 But it would shrink the genetic variation and people would eventually become genetically related to each other. But we could also solve that, I think. That's my I think Yeah, we can just remove incest from the dictionary and we've solved the problem. I think this guy's vastly underestimating how many people there are in the world. (laughs) Yeah. It would be really easy to avoid that. Well, no, I mean, in order to genetically engineer better humans, you would have to do that before they're born. So it could not be done on us, but the next generation. Yeah. In the womb. What, what is it where it's like, as long as you're second cousins, it's not incest? It's not closely related to cause yeah. issues? Oh. Even then, I think, if, even if, then, it's not apparently that bad. Like, there's a maybe 
three or five percent chance for your kid to be retarded, but even that is way off. It's uh, apparently. if the if the volume's off, it's not incest. <laughs> <laughs> what if no, you have if the subtitles, volume's though? off, it is incest because then you can imagine it. Then you the normal porn, you can just dub it by yourself and go, yes, mommy. Yeah, Charlie. What if you have subtitles? Oh, then you fucked yourself. If you're into oh. incest, you probably can't read. <laughs> Damn, Jackson mm, going to low point. ball. Jesus. Fuck me. Jesus. All right, next one. You're up, uh, Andrew. Take her home. All right, the last one. This is for Professor Pretentious, a.k.a. Andrew, me. This is from Nikki, and it says, The official podcast is one of the greatest things of late, and I'm glad to be able to contribute my due diligence. Some could say this bond between us can't be broken. I will be here. Don't you cry. Because you'll be here in my heart. Yes, you'll be in my heart. From this day on, now and forevermore, you'll be in my heart, no matter what they say. You'll be here in my heart, always. W boner. <laughs> Small uh, Tarzan? Twitch. It is. It's a reference to our Twitch streams. Uh, right, well, thank you, everyone, for your yeah, generous thank you, donations everyone. and patronage. I hope that we did you. Thank we you. we did our due diligence in reading these for you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Ariana. Yeah. So let's go Gosh, ahead and uh, wrap this up then. Take it home. Uh, thanks, Alex, for finally solving the mic issues. Hopefully, this time around, we can finally get them to stay in the no episode. Worries. Thanks for Thank thanks for um, joining me on my podcast. <laughs> do you have any uh, Do you have any last minute words, Felix, PewDiePie, before we cut the show off? <laughs> he's oh, funny. Wow. He is. He's funny. really good. He's he's been doing this for a long time. Oof. That was some good shit. <laughs> no, though, the Zeke Hiling is for later, Pewdie. <laughs> no, no, Pewdie, put away the fucking swastika, dude. Come on. He's the celebrity I'd fucking lick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to ask him? <laughs> I could DM him myself if I wanted to. Good point. He, lick he, his no. ass. <laughs> well, I mean, you two did start the podcast. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't need you, Andrew, just to lick his ass. <laughs> he can lick, lick his, his own ass, ass. thank you. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you want to shout, shout the upcoming projects out, please do. Um, I've been uploading some great vids to um, my uh, the Diamond Minecart channel. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that, you know where to find me. <laughs> <laughs> This podcast. Yeah, really. What a what a dope <laughs> sign off. <laughs> cool well, wait, why are we giving him ads if he's on the fucking show? They know who he is. Well, because we finally yeah. fixed his audio. Oh you know, yeah, fair. he's probably got all that backlog stuff he hasn't talked about. You're right. Yeah. 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 Just in case, so people know where to find you and bother you to ask you why you weren't on the most recent episode every single week. Um, you just Google search, uh, Jack Septikai. And you send him a message. <laughs> and then ask him to tell you Alex's details. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he'll know it. Uh, uh, it. Seems like a complicated process, but sounds good. <laughs> All right. Thanks again, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Toodaloo. Thank you. Oh wait, uh, there's 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 links in the description to all our other places so you can consume this podcast. And we've also got a shirt. There will be a link in the description. That's the Boardwalk Burger shirt. It looks great. Go check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.